Sulawesi, one of Indonesia's many islands. A mere 20% of children attend secondary school. About 50% of the people still live without electricity, especially in remote areas. One third of the people are jobless. But Indonesia's nature provides abundant resources that can fully support local communities. Meet the sugar palm, the champion of photosynthesis. For millennia, sugar palm tappers have collected juice from these trees, a traditional craft. This multi-purpose tree produces more than 60 different products. Its main final product being palm sugar. Please note, this is not the infamous oil palm. Sugar palms have a very high productivity while growing in a biodiverse forest. They produce sugary juice all year round without the need for fertilizer or pesticides. And with their deep roots, they actually enrich the forest topsoil. It's a unique tree. But how can a local community tap into its full potential? Meet Vili Smits, an environmental scientist with more than 30 years of experience in tropical forestry. He created the Masarang Foundation. An Indonesian environmental NGO dedicated to preserving nature through the empowerment of local people. Billy Smits is the inventor of the patented village hub. The village hub is a mini factory that can completely change the well-being of the local people. And it's based upon the juice of the sugar palm. The village hub is a turnkey, zero-waste mini factory that not only processes sugar palm juice, but also provides many infrastructure needs for the villagers through a combination of simple but efficient tools and technologies. It all starts with tapping the juice. Twice a day, the tapper climbs his tree. One tree produces 15 to 50 liters of juice a day, containing 10 to 17% sugar. Fresh juice spoils within hours, so the tappers have to boil their juice immediately. They make it into sugar near the trees. But their ovens use vast amounts of wood. And the oven smoke makes them sick. And it is not very efficient. Using the village hub offers many advantages to the tappers. So how does the system around the village hub work? It starts in the forest gardens of the tappers, where five to eight tappers work together with one fuel-efficient rocket stove. Working together saves fuel wood, eliminates the unhealthy smoke, and reduces the work level so farmers can tap more and earn more. And the uh, juice is here measured, and they record how much every person has brought, yeah? so it's fairly paid. And the uh, juice is then going to be boiled for the next few hours until it is 20% sugar concentration. Up to 200 tappers typically work together to supply slightly concentrated juice to the village hub. The village hub produces two main products from the juice. Bioethanol for local use and syrup to sell. First, let's have a look at the ethanol production process. The juice brought by the farmers is poured into a fermenter, basically a big vessel or container. Next, yeast is added to start the fermentation process. 
So what, what happens here is that the yeast, the microorganisms, are eating the sugar, uh, partly for their own energy, but then the rest of the sugar, what they excrete, is ethanol. This ethanol now needs to be extracted from the brew. This is done by distilling. The distiller separates ethanol from the fermented juice. We have 90% ethanol coming out in one go from this double column distiller. So this here is very inflammable. Ethanol contains a lot of energy, energy that can be used for many applications. For example, as fuel for a motorbike. This is especially important in rural areas that often face fuel supply difficulties. But not just that. This bioethanol also provides good quality light and clean cooking fuel for local communities. Nothing is wasted in the village hub not even the byproducts of ethanol production. During fermentation, carbon dioxide is released. A balloon captures this carbon dioxide. Then an algae pond receives the carbon dioxide on which the algae thrive. Algae, rich in proteins, are an excellent feedstock for animals. But at the same time, what is left over from the distillation is also going into this algae pond. The manure goes into a biogas installation. The methane gas produced is used as fuel for the distillation. If there is not enough, wood gas can also be used as backup. The remaining slurry in the biogas installation is used as fertilizer for both the algae pond and rice fields. The rice fields filter the outflows of the village hub and produce more feed for the animals. So fertilizer is constantly kept within the system. So the benefit of having a algae pond like this is that you can capture all the nutrients back into the system and that you can prevent emissions of CO2 unnecessary to the atmosphere. Besides ethanol, the village hub is designed to make syrup. The 20% still hot sterilized juice brought by the farmers is gathered in a large intake vessel. The juice is now transported to the evaporator to vaporize the surplus water. The sugar content increases by evaporation until a stable syrup is formed that will not spoil. Syrup containing about 67% sugar. In the Masarang sugar factory, the syrup is further processed into delicious, healthy palm sugar, ready to be sold to shops around the world. In the village hub, process energy use is optimized close to the maximum achievable. For example, the steam from the evaporation process is led back to the double-hulled intake vessel. And the intake vessel has a double hull, so the outside where this water damp goes is now condensing on the cold juice that came in and is heating the juice inside. This speeds up the evaporation process. Inside the double hull, the steam condenses into liquid water. A special carbon filter purifies this into excellent drinking water. But there are more energy efficient aspects included in the system. Let's look at the wood drying shed. A wood fired boiler supplies the evaporator with the necessary heat. The hot gases from the wood are led to the wood shed to dry fresh wood. So he's now uh, opening the wood drying shed and he's gonna take out the dry wood from here so it can go to the wood burner. Dry wood burns more efficiently. 
The village hub also includes a wood gas fired generator. Besides delivering power for the village hub, it provides electricity for more than 40 families. The charcoal from the generator is used in a water filter to produce drinking water without the need for boiling it first. The village hub offers real prospects. So what I try to do is indeed to combine all this wonderful technological uh, sustainable know-how that's available around the world and try to bring it here in a form that will culturally and socially uh, be functional. Farmers can earn more. Their children can go to school and even study at university. For example, here in Tomohon, where students learn while working on practical problems. Thanks to the electricity of the village hub, people are equipped with light and even access to the world by internet. Senang jadi petani aren karena sangat mendukung untuk keluarga saya dan untuk ke biaya anak sekolah. I think the idea is very good. In the past, people see the tree is not really useful. But now on, we see it's very useful. So why the farmers are eager to plant more tree or sugar palm tree to, so they can produce more um, juice. The sugar palm grows all year round in a biodiverse forest. Its roots go deep in the ground, stabilizing the soil and preventing landslides. They can be combined with other local species, such as fruit, bamboo, and coffee. This diversity is important for both villagers and wildlife. So we are harvesting sunlight through a forest that can always, every day, make use of that sunlight to store the energy in the light in the form of a chemical which is called sugar. And then that sugar can be used as a fuel, goes up as CO2 again and water, and comes back through the plant as again new fuel. That's the real cycle of life. The village hub is based on off-the-shelf components and a combination of well-tested technologies that are carefully integrated. And it is very compact. Three containers are enough to ship the whole installation. The village hub is therefore a winning design for remote areas that need a sound economic structure to provide a livable future. I think we will be able to improve the livelihood of millions of Indonesians while at the same time making Indonesia self-sufficient. Sugar palms in combination with the village hub technology will change the world. Sugar palm and the village hub, a sweet, sustainable solution. <laughs>